If you have just started a business, or if you are thinking of starting a business, then this is really going to help you. Essentially, every business needs customers in order to survive. This is a no-brainer. So, in our search for customers, normally, when we start a business, we tend to invest in a lot of technicalities. We, test, we invest in, perhaps, display advertisements and digital advertisements and perhaps offline advertisements. We obviously try to employ as much as possible word of mouth. We create a website, we optimize that website, we create content for that website, and so on and so on. And we do all these things trying to basically make the business viable in terms of getting in customers at a lower cost than what they actually give us through the sales which we make. This is the equation, basically, for a successful business. So I'm not going to tell you anything which you don't already know, probably. But I will tell you a few things which you tend to forget. And everybody, when I say you, it's a very generic you. Everybody tends to forget these things because running a business, starting a business, is incredibly energy intensive. It's like getting a metal block to move the first inch. There's a massive amount of inertia, amazing difficulty in making it happen. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of focus, a lot of dedication. Once it starts moving and things become easier. So if you are starting a business, what I'm going to tell you will help you overcome the friction that any business naturally faces when it starts in the marketplace. I'm going to keep it relatively simple. So there's a lot of technicality behind these things, um, which uh, comes in the way that search uh, and search engines see the result they, they see sorry <laughs> see the content which you create and then produce the results in terms of search queries but i'm not going to get into that i'm going to basically help you focus on three basic things and if you focus on those three basic things then your business stands a very good chance of being okay all right so what are they well here's what they are if you're starting a new business essentially You'll do what every other business does to promote itself and what is that well creating content and by content it's everything right it's the perhaps youtube videos if you, if you use youtube it's pictures and pinterest it's the blog posts which you're going to put in your website it's the product description on your product uh, pages which describe what you sell whether it's a product or service it really doesn't matter um, it'll be the content which you generate in your blog posts and in the way that you actually promote your business, promote your services and message your potential audience across different social media platforms. All of that is content. So if you create this kind of content, the first impetus that you feel, of course, is to actually do something, to create it, to let people you exist, to let people you're selling something, to let people you're there to help them, hopefully, so that they can become your customers and give you money for your services or your products and you can be happy and they can be happy. Well, if you're creating content, if you are engaging in all those activities, and you should, then there are three things which you should be doing, three things which you should have in mind as you do all that. What are they? Well, the first one is communicate. Obviously, you need to communicate. As you're communicating, Keep it conversational, keep it easy to understand, keep it as simple as possible. And don't forget in your communication to include your value, your values, your vision and your mission. Now, obviously, you can't browbeat your audience every single time with all of this. But everything which you create should reflect and should be sourced by these things. The value is what essentially is your unique selling point, the value of doing business with you for a potential uh, customer. Your values is what drives you, what makes your business diff different. Are you there, for example, to pillage the planet or are you there to save it? There's a massive amount of difference in how you describe this and how you do things. Your vision and your mission. Your vision is essentially where you're going and your mission is your tactical uh, purpose in any, any particular item of content which you create. So communicate is number one. The second thing is you need to find your tribe. I understand that you start off thinking, well, you know what I do. 
the whole world needs. And we all fall into that trap. But this is not true. The whole world does not need what you do. It doesn't need what you sell. And even if you think it does, it doesn't necessarily need it from you. So the moment you understand that, immediately you begin to understand that you need to find those people who are most willing to do business with you. It could be a particular demographic, it could be a particular kind of um, uh, sort of um, custom with a certain amount of money, depending on how, what you sell and how you sell. Um, it depends. It could be somebody who has a clear understanding of the complexity of what you do, or not, depending on what you do. So essentially, you need to find those people because they become your core customers. They're the, what would we call, relatively low-hanging fruit. They're not. But if you find them, they're easier to convert into customers. They become your customer base. And a good customer base, a happy customer base, becomes your first point of word of mouth um, advertising and evangelism in terms of what you do and how you do it, which will bring you customers which are harder to reach. And if you had tried to reach them, perhaps you would have spent so much time, effort and money that your profit margin would have been negligible. So focus on finding a tribe. That's the second thing you have to do. The third thing you have to do is find yourself. Who are you? Understand that. Understand why are you. This is your who and this is your why. Why are you behind this business? Why is this business really important to you? And don't present survival and the need to make money as a viable um, reason for this, because it isn't. We all have that. And that, if that is your only reason, this, this is not your, really your business. It's your business today, and tomorrow you're going to move on, on to something else which will help you make money, because that is what actually drives you. So it doesn't, it can't be your primary reason. It's a really important one, I'm not discounting it. But making money is not what actually your business does. This is not your who. This is not your why. So you need to find out who are you? What is your real identity? What is it that actually drove you to create this particular type of business now? And it's perfectly fine if you do some soul searching and decide, hey, all I want to do is make money. Okay, great. Don't overinvest. Make the money that you need to make and move on to your next thing. But if this is more than just making money for you, then you need to understand it yourself. You need to understand your why. And then you need to communicate it. So, recapping, three things. If you're starting a business or if you just began running a business and you're wondering how to make it successful in the long term. Communicate, make sure your value, values, vision and mission are in play. Find your tribe, talk to them first. Find yourself, understand your who, understand your why. These three things should be evident prevalent, primary, in every item of content that you actually create. So anything you do should be guided by these. And if it is guided by these, these three things, then everything which you do will help in your marketing, it will help in your branding, it will help in your customer conversion, it will help in your search for evangelists to help promote your brand and your business. It will help in search, search engine optimization, and even generative search because the content which you create with these three principles in mind will actually help search engines better understand who you are, why you are, where you are, and help you find the people most likely to become your customers. Think about this, internalize it. I know it's easy for me to say these things and I see it in different businesses. I know from experience that it, they're not easy to actually implement, they require a lot of soul searching, they're not tangible in the sense that you can put them on a spreadsheet and show yourself daily progress in a pie chart. However, if you solve for these three things, then a lot of the problems which businesses face fade away. It doesn't matter what size of business you have, you could be a sole operator or you could be running a global business with you know, several thousand employees, this is what you need to solve for. So solve this and you're okay. Fail to solve this and you're constantly firefighting. And at some point, the constant firefighting becomes too much and then your business will struggle and 
quite possibly die. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments below on YouTube what you think of this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to link to more resources in the resource box on YouTube, so do check it out. Take care.